Okay, now to do rows 10 through 20, this is what we're going to do. There is going to be an increase on row 11, but it's the same stitch that we're going to use. I just turned my yoke, so here we chain 3, turn, and now on the um, second, this one here already counts as 1, so if we count this one, 1, 2, 3, on the third double crochet, we're going to work our stitch, which is just a fan of two double crochets separated by one chain, and then two double crochets, just like that. This is our um, the stitch that I used for the body of the little um, sweater. So now we're going to skip one, two, three, and on the third one, again, we're going to work another fan, two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. And then again, one, two, three, on the third, another fan. Just like that. And then again, one, two, three, one more fan. Okay, and now again on the third, one, two, three, which is the last one here, same thing, another fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets in that same space. We're going to skip these three chains and we're going to work a fan on this first double crochet on this side of the back of the little sweater. So two chain and two double crochets. And then in the back, same thing. One, two, three on the third, another fan. One, two, three on the third, another fan. One, two, three. Okay, and then here, this is where I wanted to show you. We have one, two, three, four. We're going to work our last fan for the back on the last double crochet. You won't even notice because this is going to be right under the arm. There we go. We're going to skip these three chains and then on the first double crochet on this side, we're going to work another fan. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, and now here at the end where we have three chains, we're going to work one double crochet on top of the third chain. And that's how you complete your tenth row. 
let's count and see how many fans we have on each side. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five fans on this side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fans on the back, and one, two, three, four, five fans on the other side. So, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so to do your 11th row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. And now we're going to work our fans on top of each of these fans. Where we did our chain one space, that's where we're going to work our fan stitch. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. At the end of this side of the arm, we're going to work an increase right here. Okay, so let's complete this and I'll show you how we're going to do that. And right here, if you notice, we have fan on this side, and then the fan that begins here for the back. Right in the middle, that's where we're going to work another fan. This is going to be our increase. So just insert your hook in there and just work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Just like that. Okay, and now here we're going to work another fan just like we have done okay, so work the back just doing fans on top of the fans that we did on the previous row and I will meet you again on the, at the end of this back side over here to show you again the increase on this side or on this underarm. Okay, so I'll meet you back here. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here under the arm, we're going to work an increase just like we did here. So here on this side, it's the same way. Insert your hook in the space that's between these two fans and work a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then just continue working your fan on top of this fan here. And that's all you do. From now on, we're not going to do any more increases, so all you will do is just work fans on top of fans and more fans. And here at the end, always, always, on top of the third chain, we're going to end with one double crochet. And that's how you complete your 11th row. And that's what it looks like under the arms with our increase. Okay, so now to do um, your 12th through 20th row, this is what you're going to do. Chain three, turn, and just work fan stitches on top of the fans that you have done on the previous row. Just like that. Okay. This part is pretty easy, but it's a lot of work to do these last couple rows. So I will come back and show you what I did for row 21 to show you how I got this stitch to look like this. Okay. So I will meet you here at the end, 
So continue doing fan stitches on top of each of these fans. Here under the arm, you're not going to do anything special. Just work a fan here, a fan here, and a fan here. Same thing for the other side. So continue like this, and I will meet you at the end to show you what I did um, at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end. This is what it looks like so far. Um, I have 12 rows of fan stitches. I added an extra row because I noticed it was um, a little too small. If you're giving it to a baby, um, just leave it like that. It's, it should be fine. All you would have to do um, for the sleeves is maybe shorten it by one row. So, um, But if you want to do it exactly like I did, add another row so that in total you have 12 rows of fan stitch and it should measure about 7 inches from here to here. Okay, so to do the last row so that it um, looks like this, you see it looks like um, it looks different, it looks like a little bump in the middle. Um, to do that, this is what I did. So on this last row, I chained three, one, two, three, turn, and now we're going to do a front post double crochet on the first double crochet of this fan. So front post like this. Then we're going to work a normal double crochet right here in the middle where the chain one spaces. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that same space, just like that. And another front post double crochet at the end of your fan, so uh, your fourth double crochet. Okay, again, front post double crochet on the first double crochet of your fan, then two double crochets on top of here, but it's double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then front post on the last double crochet of that fan. One more time, front post on the first double crochet of your fan, double crochet on top of the chain one, and then chain one again, and then another double crochet, and then front post on the last double crochet of your fan. And that's what creates the, that stitch like that. So from now on, this is going to be your right side. If you wanna, if you wanna make this your right side, that's what it looks like and this is what it looks like on the back. Okay, so continue to do this last row just like I showed you, and I'll meet you at the end to show you what the next step is. Okay, I'm here at the end. I worked my last double crochet on top of the three chains here. So on the third chain, I did a double crochet, and this is what it looks like. This is what the border looks like all around. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work a row of single crochets all around just like I did here. I did three rows total of just single crochets. So to do that, this is how we're going to do it. Where you see that there's three chains, we're going to do two single crochets. Where you see that there's a double crochet at the end, we're going to do three single crochets. So the first one is here where we have a double crochet where I ended this last row. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to insert my hook in there and work a single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet. Three single crochets in this one space. Now we're going to skip this and then here is a three chain space. So in there I'm, I'm only going to work two single crochets. And then the next one here is a double crochet. We're going to work three single crochets. And so on and so forth. So three chains, two single crochets. A double crochet, three single crochets. So continue like this until you come here to the top of the sweater. And then I'll show you how to do the top of the neckline. Okay, so I'll see you then. Okay, I'm here at the end almost of this um, first row of single crochets. So here we have our 
row of single crochets, I'm just going to work a single crochet in that first one, and then our chains where we started to do our single crochets. So in this corner here, in this corner chain, I'm just going to do two single crochets. Since this is a corner stitch, we need to um, be able to turn. So now we have these stitches here. These are where we did our chains. So on each one of these, we're going to work a single crochet. Just like this. We're going to do this all around the neckline. And I will meet you here to show you how we're going to work this other side. So I'll meet you then. Okay, I'm here at the end and this is a chain, um, the last chain space here. So it's a corner stitch, so I'm going to work two single crochets. This one here is a single crochet row, so I'm going to insert my hook in there, work a single crochet. And then again, this is a double crochet, so we're going to work three single crochets in that one space. And then this one, and then this next one is a three chain space, only two single crochets. And again, here's a double crochet, so we're going to work three single crochets and another chain three, so two single crochets. So continue this way until you come to the end, and I will meet you here to show you what the next step is. Okay, I'm almost here to the end. This is a chain three space, so and since this is a corner stitch, I'm going to work three single crochets. Just like that. And then here we're going to work single crochets on each of these stitches. But we're going to insert our hook in between each of the stitches. We're not going to do them on top. We're going to just insert the hook in between or into these spaces here right there and work single crochets. So I'll show you. I already did that one. So here, let me see, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. I'm doing the single crochets into that space. I'm not grabbing the stitches from the top. So into that space I'm working single crochets. So we're going to work this part until we come to the end here or to the beginning of where we started our single crochet rounds. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first single crochet row and actually at the beginning of the row where we started the single crochets. So here you are going to work the second row and doing the same thing single crochets. On each of the corner stitches you are going to do two single crochets just like this and then work a single crochet on each of these single crochets that you see here just like this. When you come to each of these three other corners this one here, this one here, and then this one here make sure that you always always do two single crochets on this last corner stitch. Okay? If for some reason you notice that it's um, not looking straight or it's starting to bend or fold like that, do three single crochets. Um, it should be fine. Okay? So work this last um, single crochet row um, before I show you how to do the final uh, single crochet row, which is where I did the buttonholes. Okay, so I will meet you here at the beginning of the third row to show you that step. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row of single crochets. Now we're going to start our third and final row. On the third row, we're going to work buttonholes. I'm going to do three buttonholes for this little jacket here. It would be up to you how many you want to do. You can do one, two, or three. I'm going to do three. I'm going to do one here, one here, and one on top. So now what I'm going to do is here there's a corner stitch. I'm going to work two single crochets and a single crochet on each one of these until I get to the top here. 
to the top of the first um, row of fan stitches that we did and then I will show you how I did my buttonholes. Okay, I'm here. I'm getting ready to do my first buttonhole and to do that I have already marked my stitches where I want my buttonholes. I did this to make sure that between here and here I have the same spaces which are six single crochets. So here I'm going to insert my hook. There's two two stitches between this and this. So I'm going to chain two, one, two, insert my hook here on the second single crochet and work a single crochet. And then again work six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then chain two, one, two, skip one, and then on the second one, insert your hook and work a single crochet, and then again work one, two, three, four, five, and six. Two chains and single crochet. And that's how I did my buttonholes. Just like that. Okay, and then here, since this since this next stitch is a corner stitch, you're just going to work two single crochets and continue working this final third row same way you did the second row single crochet on each of these stitches and when you come to the corners remember you do two single crochets so I'll meet you here at the beginning where we started our third row to show you what the next step is which is um, we're going to start working on the arms 